<laughs> action. Okay, so to start off, we're going to do a follow-up from last time. Last time, which was a week ago, or less than a week ago, Tyler committed everyone to practice their pitch one time a day, right? Either in the shower or here or whatever it is. Raise your hands, how many of you did that? Milo! Oh <laughs> boy, good job! I'm going to slap everyone else in the back of the head. <laughs> okay, so practice your pitch as many times as you can. That's how you're going to get over the hurdles and the ickiness of the things that you're saying and stuff like that. First your reps, huge for you to do that because you'll get over so many bumps. You'll get used to not saying, um, it'll be way helpful. Yeah. All right, so now Logan's going to do the training on the scopes and service. Okay, technicians, we're, people who do the service, the treatment, we refer to them as technicians. They're the nerdy bug guys with the power backpacks and the hat. And they do all of the dirty work for us. So we love our technicians, they take good care of us. And we want to keep our techs happy. So they help us. Uh, they are fully trained on the bugs. They know where they are, they know why they're there, and they know how to get rid of them. We don't have to be masters of identifying insects and other scientific names and and all that stuff. We need we need a general knowledge of everything about bugs, and you'll pick that up pretty quickly. But if there are any overly difficult questions they ask, just on this note, you can always defer and say, you know, my technician is professionally trained. He'll be able to answer that for you when he comes and does the service. It's pretty simple. Okay. Uh, resurfaces. Okay. So there are four parts to the service that I want to go over. Um, the initial, okay, so you can start by explaining, explaining the service itself won't be very helpful, you also need to know how to talk about it. Usually you knock on the door, person answers, say, what do you want? Say, sorry, just real quick, my name's Logan with Terminex, Tyler with Terminex, or Milo with Insight, whoever it is. You say, we're going to be taking care of a few of the neighbors, whatever you want to open with, and you create the need, like we talked about last time. So ants, okay, they've been seeing ants in the kitchen, okay? Have you been seeing those? Yes, no, I don't know, whatever you want to ask. When you get into the product of the service, we do, there's four main sections. There's an outside base spray, there's a lawn granulation, there's an interior treatment, and there's a de-webbing that we do. And so we're gonna break those first down. I personally like to start with the base spray on the outside, because it doesn't involve you. It's, it's pretty simple and you can draw them off the porch. So the base spray, what it is, it's a spray, it comes three feet off the wall and three feet far. It, think of it as a force field from the bugs. Okay, it's a product, it's kid friendly, it's pet friendly, it's good, but it's gonna keep all the bugs off of the foundation of the house. Every single quarter when we come out to service, whether it's summer or winter, we're gonna do this base spray. So people love hand motions as well. It keeps them engaged, it keeps everything interesting. So we say, Okay, what we're going to start off with is a base spray, walk around the side of the house. What we're going to do is spray three feet up this wall and three feet far, all the way around the house. It's going to create a really nice barrier so, not, and none of, so that none of those little bugs can get in close to the home. Okay, first part of the service. So, second part of the service. Okay, we want to make an additional barrier so those bugs cannot get close at all. So we're going to do a granulation. Granulation, we spread it with this little thing. Has anyone ever uh, fertilized a lawn? Yeah, so yeah. you got like both of you walk around, there's crystal yeah. pellets everywhere. That's what it looks like, except it's a handheld thing. So they cover five, ten feet out from the house. Throw the lawn, throw the rocks, mulch, everywhere. Walks around the house, spreads some granulation, lays on these pellets, they're water activated. So, like you said, the more it rains, the better the product gets. That aspect of the surface. So we have base spray of the home. Granulation around the outside. Third aspect on the outside is an eave sweep. We call it, a, we do it with the D Weber. So, do you see this picture right here? This like massive stick thing with a brush on the end? Okay, so wives especially love this. What we do, long pole extends 15 to 20 feet. We stretch it up and in all the reachable eaves. So realize if you sell some big houses that have 60 foot eaves, don't be promising that our technician is going to be getting up there like Spider-Man and taking care of those things. 15 to 20 feet will take care of all those eaves. He's actually going to scrub down and scrub. Josh has some good stories doing warfare with spiders. Uh, yes, yes I do. But we, 
We take down. Fortunately, I do. We take down all of those nasty spider webs that people get around the house, around the lights, everything, and uh, that's called the D Weber. Okay, they get with the Y, so just keep that in mind. The final aspect of the service is the interior service. Okay, so bugs are drawn to moisture. They like areas like bathrooms, and kitchens, and basements. Everyone's been in a basement. Come on, ask. <laughs> Everyone say hi to Celeste. Hi, hi Celeste. Celeste. Hi, Celeste. 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 <laughs> Whenever you go to the basement and you walk through and you take spider webs to the base or whatever, thing like that, you then you go in the potty or whatever you want to call it, in the bathroom, ants in the shower, whatever it is. Most people start to see ants in the kitchen because they leave a little sugar and things on the countertop. And people don't know how they get into the house. They're, the bugs are living inside the walls. And so what we do to remedy this is, it's called a wall void treatment. Um, back where the pipes are, so in all the bathrooms, in the kitchen, in the basement area where the pipes are, we're gonna go down there and we're actually gonna inject a powder into the wall. We don't do any drilling, okay? There's a little J pipe that pops out, usually at least the sink. We just stick a straw looking thing into the wall, pop some powder in there. It's a residual, so it's gonna stick to the hair of all the bugs that are in the wall. We'll take it back to the colony, and everything will be gone. Okay, so it's quick. Four aspects of the service. We spray the outside of the home. We treat five to ten feet in the lawn and mulch around the entire house. We de-web the entire home, take down all the spider webs, and as well as treat for wasps and things like that up in those areas. And then we treat the inside. We do that every single time we come out to do the service. Everything will be taken care of. Um, we do unlimited reservices, which is a huge selling point as well. <clears throat> so if you see, tell people, if you see anything in between our set services, give us a call, we'll come back and do everything again for free. Okay, so people know they're gonna be taken care of. You're, it's honestly, it's, a, it's an incredible service. Most, I mean, we can't guarantee you won't see any bugs, but we're gonna take care of all these bugs. And it's a great value. So you don't have to be scared and say, and be scared to sell it for what it's worth. Too much. Just okay. <clears throat> okay. So just pretend you're a customer. Okay. So I knock on your door. I'm just an opener. Hey, my name's Logan with Terminex. You've probably seen our trucks here in the area in the last few days. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, so nothing too big. We're just going to be helping out a few of the neighbors down the street. Um, they've been saying that they've seen a few of those tiny little ants in the kitchen. Okay, now do you just get those on the outside of your house, or do you get some of those on the inside as well? Both. Both? Okay, that's classic. That's exactly why we're out here. Uh, so I actually have a truck coming through the area here tomorrow. If I get you taken care of, I can get the service done super cheap. Now what we're doing for the neighbors to keep those ants away from the home is a base spray. Okay, so you see here on the side of your house that you have this foundation showing and then your siding starts? Yeah. Okay, so I can stick my hand up underneath that siding. Obviously, if I can get my hand in there, those little boys can find their way in there. Um, so what we're going to do is a base spray. It comes three feet up this wall and three feet far. That's going to wrap all the way around your house. Okay? None of those little critters are going to be coming in close. You're not going to find anything playing hula hoop with your chair. Okay? Explain the base spray. Come in, crack a joke, do something stupid. <laughs> Create the outside barriers. Okay? You can use this for an opener. Uh, now, John down the street was seeing, he gets these wasp nests and these spider webs at the eaves of his home. Now, do you just get these usually here in the front, or do you get around the back as well? Around the back and all the eaves. All the eaves? Yeah. Okay, that sucks. All right, so here's what we're doing for John. Uh, we have a long pole, 15 to 20 feet. We stretch it up there, and there's a brush on the end. kind of looks like a, a giant Q-tip looking thing, okay? okay? And so what my tech's going to do when he comes out to your house Good wording. Wanky comes out to your house, swing the sail, comes out. My tech. He's actually going to scrub down all of these eaves of your house. You see these little spider webs and crap you got up here? Yeah. That's all going to be done. Okay. Let's explain that. You can tell him the tech and the shutters. People sometimes see wasps inside the shutters of their house. So, what we do for that, what's, this, what's it called again? Delta dust. Delta dust. Um, so we put Delta, a product called Delta Dust in the end of that brush. And so when we're up there, when we scrub down all of your eaves, it's a pheromone inhibitor. 
this little sticky smell good that the wasps leave on the house. That's why they come back year after year. It's just saying that this house is friendly and they like the wasps. Okay, so we're gonna not take care of that so you guys don't have to deal with those anymore. Okay, deweather. Granulation. Um, so say you throw me a doubt and say, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's nice to okay. So what we do is sometimes we like to use a hat. Can I use a real go for it? Just a sunny kind of doubt. Uh, so a lot of times we'll wear a hat while we sell in the summer and say, okay, so what we want to do is actually create an additional barrier than just the base spray. And so we're going to spread a granulation. Uh, have, you ever, have you ever fertilized your lawn? I have, yeah. Okay, so you know those little pellet looking things? Yeah. Okay, it looks just like that. Um, they're water activated. So when my tech comes out of your house, he's actually going to come out around your house and five to ten feet out, all the way around the perimeter, and even back in those mulch areas you got side back there, he's going to lay this down. It's going to make sure none of those bugs can even get close to your home. Okay, that's the granulation. Inside of the house, okay. Let's say you said you saw ants in the kitchen. Yeah. All right. Okay. Super annoying. Um, the bugs are actually drawn to the moisture of your pipes. Uh, so people usually see them in the kitchen or the bathrooms uh, or in the basement or someplace like that. So what my tech's gonna do when he comes out to your house is, you know where you have your sink and those cupboards? Yeah. In the back where that J-pipe goes into the wall? Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna slip that seal back and stick a straw back into the wall and pop some dust back into the wall board space. You're not going to deal with anything inside of your house. You don't have to worry about taking your kids out. It's totally safe. Um, but that's, like I said before, it's a residual. So it's going to stick to the hair of those little bugs. They're going to take them back to the brothers and sisters, and they're all going to be gone. Okay, it flushes everything out of the house. So that's one, that's just a quick run through, run through of explaining those aspects of the service. The service, it looks like we only have four points, but you can make it seem like we have a million points. Okay, keep running people through the sales cycle. These are our weapons. Without them, we're useless. We're just sitting there running around. So a lot of times, people, when they first start selling, say, uh, we're going to spray for the ants around the house. And then in addition, what we're doing for the neighbors is a granulation. So we're going to spread it out all the way around the house, 5 to 10 feet, make sure those bugs can't, be, can't even get close to the home. And then we're also going to come down, and we're actually going to scrub down all the spider webs. And these wasp nests you guys got around here, and leave the dust in there so they never come back. And uh, then we'll also take care of the inside as well. So you've just given the customer quickly everything you have to offer. And so when the customer says, well, how much is it? Or throws you a doubt, like, yeah. my wife's not home, or a little bit of doubt, I don't know. Too expensive. Too whatever expensive, it is. whatever it is. You have nothing to go to. I mean, you just say, well, I'll talk about this, this, and that. If you would describe one aspect of the service first, base spray, from three feet up and three feet out. Make sure none of those bugs can get you close to your home. Uh, I know the useful thing, people like hand gestures. So, um, like bugs getting in your house, or spiders, like crawling up the wall, whatever you want to do. It, it creates that mental image for people. It can visualize the bugs being around, and they're going to walk on. So, three feet up, three feet out. Uh, no, if we can get you taken care of on Thursday or Friday, like I said, I can get it done super cheap. Close. Close after you present the first part of the sale, the first service. You can be done. <coughs> well, how much is it? Okay, perfect question. How many bathrooms do you have? Uh, two. Two? Okay. Uh, the only reason I ask is because what we actually do on the inside to make sure to take care of those bugs that are hard to do get in is in all those bathrooms in, in the kitchen, we're going to be treating inside the walls. So the bugs are drawn to the moisture of the pipes. And so you know we have the sink and the cupboard and the J-pipe yeah, and the wall. Yeah. Okay, you're going to develop phrases you say all the time. <laughs> <clears throat> We're going to stick a straw back there, pump some dust, got to flush everything out so nothing else can get back in. Nothing else is living back inside that space. Okay, second point, we continue to build value. So like I said, if we can get taken care of Thursday or Friday, I, need, I can get it done super cheap. Okay, so how much is it again? Oh, right, I totally forgot. Okay. <laughs> Tell them the price. So while we're out here, I can actually get, usually it costs this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I can get you taken care of tomorrow. I can get everything done for just 125 bucks a quarter. Okay, now another thing John was saying is that he gets these wasp nests up in these eaves every summer. Um, do you just get those here in the front or do you get them around the back as well? Get them around the back. Around the back. Okay. Now this isn't quite with this training, but 
take his mind off the price. I told him how much it was, mm -hmm. and then went, took out another one of my weapons, the next part of the service, okay? The wasps, he's like, yeah, we do get those wasps, okay? I noticed you have a play set in the backyard as well. Um, so I'm assuming you have some sort of kids or something like yeah, that? Yeah, okay. So I'll have my tech definitely take care of that, uh, that play area, do some treatments out there, try and work out those wasps. Um, but when we come out, my tech has a, it's a long pole, 15 to 20 feet with a brush on the end. Okay, he's actually gonna scrub down all these eaves of your house. So he's gonna take care of those spider webs. <laughs> and if you can actually leave the garage open for us, I'll have my tech do inside there as well for free. Okay. Okay. Um, so it's Thursday or Friday then? Thursday. Okay. He's, <laughs> he's super easy. Yeah. <laughs> just my comment is just just like be aware of how you're describing it. Because if I ask somebody if they'll pay three dollars for a muff and you're gonna be like, yeah, three dollars is kind of steep. But if I tell you Hey, you know, three dollars for this muffin. The way I made it was I actually used real butter that we churned, but and we, we used vanilla we imported from Mexico. It's awesome. Guatemala and sugar that we imported. We we went through this whole process. When you build it, like you use these, this language, you build it up, and all of a sudden you're like three dollars is all I'm paying for that muffin. That's the same thing with the pest control. If you say I'm gonna spray around your house, they're like, that's great. I can go to Home Depot and do that. But if you say, I'm gonna have my technician come out here, what he's gonna do for you guys is He's going to treat around the exterior of your home and, and fill these cracks in for you, put a barrier on the house. He's going to treat three feet up and three feet out. Just to add a descriptive language, builds so much value that all of a sudden, you know, 99 bucks or $125 a quarter for that doesn't seem like a big deal when they can see the effort that goes into it and that you, when you're talking about it with that descriptive language. So just big heads up on how you describe everything. Super important for building value. Thanks. Do you have anything you want to add? Anybody? I've got a question. So, when you're out there and um, I forgot what I was going to ask. Hold on. So when you're out there and you you're building value and everything, and um, gosh, I forgot what I was going to ask. I know that's what's happening. <laughs> um, oh yeah. So you say when you start off, you're like, hey, so I, you know, the neighbors have been saying they have this down the street and everything. Where do you normally see those at? What does they say that they don't see that stuff? Like you know, they're like. They said they have ants around the front of the house and back of the house, everything. Yeah. Where have you been seeing that? Oh, I've never seen that before. Josh. Whenever I um, knock on a door, like Tyler said last week, you'll always see something. Mm -hmm. So as I walk up to someone's house, I'm totally eagle eyeing on any of my ammo. Okay, cool. There's some ants up there. There's a wasp right there. Oh, there's a spider right there. I'm going to talk about all these things. So when I'm talking to someone, I'm not gonna give them like an option to say, well, do you have something? I'm gonna point out the ants that are right there. Oh, you see these right here? Your neighbors are getting the same things. Are they just right here or have they crept inside the house yet? Mm -hmm. They're not in the house. Perfect, let me tell you what we're gonna do on the outside. So it's like setting them up. You're always gonna see bugs on the ins or on the outside somewhere, so zero in on that. So they're not gonna be like, mm, you know what? I'm not actually seeing anything. Because you be you're always gonna see something outside. You will be amazed. Like three, within three weeks of the summer, you can't help it. Like even when I, after the summer, I walk up to places and you're eyeing every single corner of the house, behind the shutters as you walk up, the walkways. You see an ant hill. You see every single ant hill, like uh -huh. on the sidewalk on the way up. Sure, yeah. Well, just, the reason I ask is because when I went down to St. George, it was like I'd see these houses that are just covered in webs, they're covered in, in uh, wasps' nests and everything. Yeah. And I knock them, and every single one of them was empty. Nobody was home. Nobody lived there. And I go to the other ones and I couldn't find anything. Is it just the cold weather, maybe? Uh, Spider webs. Yeah, you know I mean, I was looking, a, I couldn't find anything on those houses where I was knocking. You'll run into that too during the summer. So there's a couple other like little tricks that you'll learn. One of them is, is give them, don't give them the option of saying, like, no, I don't have bugs. Instead, say, are you guys seeing more of the bugs on the inside of the home or you just seeing them out here still? Because they're going to say, yeah, I'm seeing them on the inside, or they're going to say, no. Uh, oh, so just out here. Okay, great. Then you keep just talking about the treatment. Because what people, a lot of people don't like to admit they have bugs, they still have them. You know, like yeah, well, people yeah. don't want to tell you. So if you don't have to force them to confess that they they have bugs, because people associate with dirtiness, like nobody wants to admit that they're unclean. So like by not forcing them to admit that, like you can still sell the customer. You know what I'm saying? So you go, hey, have you guys seen the ants more on the inside of the house, or are they still just out here? And everyone's like, oh no, they're on the inside. Yeah, so they're still just out here. Okay, what we're gonna do to make sure those guys don't crawl inside is this for you. And okay. not many people notice the bugs unless they're like in the food. Mm -hmm. you know? so, oh, I don't have any bugs. Okay, yeah, perfect. No one's seen much of anything. Um, just like these little ants that you guys got going on around here. Mm -hmm. So you can you show them. What or you can even just go along the lines like, listen, I understand it's early in the season, but it's New Jersey. You just nod and kids. 
it's New Jersey. You know how it gets later in the season. And they're like, yeah, you're right. There's always bugs out here. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll do it. You know how it is. It's New Jersey. There's going to be bugs. Like, yeah. So then, then you can keep going. Does that make sense? Yeah. One second. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to try something out. Justin wants to try. Yeah. Okay. All right. Logan here. I, what, the big thing I wanted to do is get it so you guys can picture what a technician actually does. You don't need to tell every single detail about the service, um, but when you cover one piece of the service, you want to kind of go into the detail with that piece. You want to build that piece up. Just like Tyler was saying, the more you know about that piece, the more confident you're going to be, right? Because right now you guys know nothing about pest control. Like Jeremy, when you were on the doors this 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 last weekend, you had to sell alarm. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. Exactly. You got to know. You don't sell have like to candy share bars. all <laughs> this. Want to buy this? <laughs> you don't have to share all this. It's kind of melted. You don't have to share all this with the customer, but for you to know about it really helps you understand it. That was one of the biggest things that Bryn wanted to know: is what does the technician actually do? So picture this, okay? And he'll go through some pictures probably later on. But picture this. Well, this is the technician, okay? The first thing he does when he comes out to a house, he has one of two things, okay? With inside or Terminex, depends on what they have. It's either a backpack. And this backpack is like this big, full of some <coughs> liquid that they use. Normally, it's either Termidor or or some of the other. Temperate. Temperate is one of the main common also. Okay? You'll learn these, these terms. You can write them down if you want right now. What I really suggest is writing these things down, okay? So this is what he looks like. He's got this. And then it's attached to this little hose, okay? And then what he does, he pumps it, so pump it, walk around, spray on the edges, okay? Three feet up, three feet down, okay? That's Super exactly simple. Right. A lot of customers, so a lot of customers don't like this. They don't like the pump spray, so like, oh, I can do that myself. Some of the trucks come with a hose, okay? Some of the inside trucks, some of the Termex trucks, it depends on where you're at. So you have to know where you're at. And what the hose, so what the technician does, he goes to the truck, Pulls out those and goes all the way around the house with this hose, okay? And so this truck has all the equipment and all the product inside of that, okay? Um, so that's the first piece of the service. Now, when he does this, you want to go into great detail. So just like Logan was saying, my technician, what he's going to do for you is going to go three feet up and three feet out all the way around the base of the home. Now, you're seeing these little cracks you guys are getting right here, right? Mm -hmm. It's interesting because bugs, I mean, they can fit through any little crack in the home. Obviously, my fingers can't fit through here, but bugs seem to always find a way. And so what happens is they get attracted to that moisture, and they go throughout the house, okay? And then they set up their colonies, where you definitely cannot reach, right? Obviously, you can't reach back there. Yeah. Obviously. So on and so forth. And you go into detail about that piece, okay? I've built that up a lot. What, my, what this product's going to do is it's going to create a liquid barrier that's going to stay in the house for about, you know, from 90 to 100 days. It's going to make sure nothing ever creeps inside the house. Everybody loves this about the service. Okay? All right. Next thing the technician is going to do, he's got a D Weber. Okay. Long pole. Fix this long pole, 15 to 20 feet. It extends maybe 10 to 15, depending on the area you're in. Pom pom on the end. Picture of pom pom. You know, cheerleaders? Come to the pom poms. Okay. There's a product on the end of it, and he scrubs it down. Scrub it down for me, Logan. Get all this down. You want, you want to show the customer this. The more you build the value, the better off it's going to be. Another way you can build the value with this, I explained it last time, but say you see a spider web right there, and it's the only thing you see on the house is a spider web. So those houses where you didn't see anything, mm -hmm. there's always something little. So even if you see a cobweb, okay? When you see that cobweb, you got that as your ammo, and you're like, all right, I'm ready to use this. I'm so ready to use this ammo. So you see this cobweb, and you're like, you're like, oh, so you guys get the spiders right here, right? Is it just here or is it in the back? Oh, no, it's not in the back. Okay, well, this is what we're going to do. So you get all that on your pen. And you're like, so what we're going to do is we're going to brush all this down with the product, and this is going to make sure it just stays off the house for the rest of the year, yada, yada, yada. But doing that, scraping it on your foot or just showing them it, they're all just like, Ew, that's disgusting. Dude. One of my favorite things with the base spray that I do every time, if the house has siding, okay, you can slip your fingers underneath there, and I, the, like almost everyone I saw, this is what I did. Go underneath, and if you have like, I have rough hands, so I don't get like cut on anything, sometimes the siding can be sharp, but I slide it underneath the siding, 
and I pull out a mass of spider webs. Like, my hand is like full. And then you like try and get it off your hand, and no one knows it's there. But when they talk about the bugs crawling up the foundation, they gotta get up inside the side, okay? Do the slide, take it out, and you're like, oh my gosh, like I have that much crap. But they can't see it, because as a homeowner, even, even my apartment here, I don't look for bugs. I don't, I don't see the massive wasp nest like three months in, I'm like, holy crap, there's a 20 pound wasp nest at the corner of my head. Pull it out, or do that thing with the pen up there and make it seem nasty, because it is nasty. Make it seem even nastier when you touch it with your bare skin and stuff it like just, that. It just paints a better picture yeah. in their mind. That's yeah. all you're doing is making it more vivid to them. Because you just rubbed a two foot section of their house and they have the whole perimeter and they know that's just full of spiders now. And so that spray, and Joe, Joe does a great job of spraying this. I'm not going to excuse this for a long time since I felt like I'm just like this. <laughs> um, keeping that out of it, that stuff's not going to be there. People want that. That builds that value a ton. What I'm trying to get at is you guys want to make it as real to the customer as possible. Here in Utah, it is going to be a different situation. You're going to have different bugs, different things that you're selling on here in Utah than you are in Jersey, Connecticut, Pittsburgh, <laughs> Delaware, wherever you are. These areas that you're at, it is wooded like crazy. Ain't no skyscrapers in the areas that we're at. It's very wooded, nice homes, but you see all this kind of stuff. Okay, so what are the two scopes we already talked about since I've been up here right now? <coughs> AJ, what's one of the scopes? What? <laughs> what's one of the scopes of the service? One of the things the technician's going to do? He's going to spray like three feet, up three feet. Okay. Second thing, Andrew. Dewebbing. Dewebbing. All right, what's the third thing that we're getting to that Logan already talked about? Granulation. Granulation. Okay. Bren, come up here. I love how Bren moves his hips on this one. This boy, this boy can dance. He just loves yeah. the way Bren moves his hips all the time. Bren, <laughs> remember when we went... Let's see, who did we talk to? Some lady on the second floor, and she didn't want to come down, but because you started showing her all this, she started to come down. Yeah, that's right. You did the whole satellite thing, and you yeah, showed up. All right, show us how you room. talk about a granulation at the terminal next to the, the okay. technician does. So what I normally go is like, and the, another thing that our customers really love is that we have this granulation product. It's like, it's like looks like little pebbles. It works real well. But what we do with it, we have one of those um, fertilizer spreaders. We walk around the home, but 10 feet out, what happens is when, we, when, it gets, when it hits the ground and it gets wet, it's going to go down about an inch. And what that does is that's going to wipe out all the satellite nests that's around the home, so they're not going to be as likely to nest near the home, thus get inside the house. And you'll all come up with your own unique ways to explain it. And that'll change throughout the summer. I mean, from week two, I was using catchphrases and stupid jokes, and by the end, I was using even more stupid jokes. Catchphrases? Yeah. yeah. Kind of what kind of catchphrases? <laughs> oh, like, my wife's, or er, I gotta ask my wife first. Okay, perfect. I'm here to kill your bugs, not your marriage. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll laugh at that like, huh, huh. Everyone laughs and you go, oh, Here's another just told it for the six fish. billionth time this summer. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're going to take your firstborn child. No, I'm just kidding. You can have it. <laughs> Every time. You'll come up with, I mean, there's tons You'll of dark little things yeah. you can say that make people laugh, that make it real. I mean, you don't want to come off as a, as a salesman. Just be personable, but be yourself. Yeah. Okay, so the last scope. What's the last scope? Interior. Interior. Okay, Milo, what do they, what do, they do on the interior that you have? So they'll get up in the moist areas in your kitchen and your bathroom where the bugs like to hide, and they'll put a treatment up there, powder, that'll kind of coat the bugs. Those bugs will then go back down into the, the nest up in the walls, and it'll seal that area off and eliminate any, any bugs up there. Perfect. Beautiful. Well done. Uh, the big thing to remember is the residual effect. That's one thing that separates our products that are way better, more potent. They work better than just the products you buy at Home Depot, okay? So the residual effect is that it lasts you know, from 90 to 100 days in the area that it's at. And that interior treatment, it will coat that and it'll spread throughout the wall. So you want to describe that really well. You want to, what, what we're trying to get at is, remember how Logan talked about ammo? and how you have all these different things as your weapons to use whenever they come up with a rejection or say no to you or say the price is too much, whatever it is, you go into a different piece of the uh, scope of the service and you explain just that one piece. Don't explain everything. 
just that one piece and go into detail about that one piece. So for instance, a bee's nest, okay? One little tiny bee's nest that's up in the eaves. You see that one tiny bee's nest and you describe what happens. How they put, a, the bees put a pheromone up there that makes them want to come back year after year after year. He calls it a, what do you call it, a smell good pretty or something like that? Yeah, the little, little sticky smell good. A little sticky smell good. And you have to build your own lines. But these tiny little details that you talk about, that you go into detail with, it helps make the whole service more real. So just picture it, picture it, the Terminex or Insight truck coming up and actually servicing the home. Once you get that in your head, you're gonna be able to sell a lot better. Because then day one of the summer, you won't be confused at what we actually do. You won't be stumbling over yourself at all. Okay? Questions? Do you have more stuff around the More. You can bring up some guys to do role plays. Should we? All right. And what's your name? One more time. Mine? Yes. Owen. Owen. Come on up. Yeah, <laughs> Owen. Let's go. All right. So, just want to throw down Andrew right here? Sure. <laughs> okay. Just you explain, explain the base spray, explain the webbing, explain the inside, and then explain the granulation. Just to each other. Okay. All right. Simple. All right, so Owen, what we're going to do, the first thing, is we're going to do a base spray around the whole perimeter of the home. What we're going to do is we're going to come three feet up, go three feet out. One of the things you'll notice, if you come up here right underneath the siding, like, see, you can see the, can you see that? Pretty nasty, yeah? So that's one of the main things around here. So by doing that around the whole home, we're creating a barrier to keep these insects from getting inside the home. Does that make sense? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. The you whip in? Yeah. Okay. All right. So see these spider webs up here in the eaves? Uh-huh. Are they just in the front of the house or else in the back? More in the back than up here. Okay. So great. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our tech's going to come and he's going to grab a big pole about 15 to 20 feet. And on, the, on the end of that pole, there's going to be a, a brush. And he's just going to scrub all those webs off and he's going to leave um, a layer that will destroy all the pheromones that the, the wasps bring and the wasps will they won't be attracted to this house anymore, and you won't have to worry about spider webs, and, and this will last for several days. Perfect. You'll get your, you'll get the groove, and yeah. it'll come on easier. That was good. You got the idea. Okay. Okay. So now, like we talked about earlier, how we're going to do the three feet by three feet, three foot uh, uh, area around the home that we're going to do that outside treatment, the, the spray. What we're also going to do is with five to ten feet out in the in the yard, we're gonna spread a granular. Have you ever like spread or spread manure in your yard before? Fertilizer. Yeah. Fertilizer. Manure. <laughs> 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 just shovel it out. <laughs> There's a little you never, <laughs> 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 never shovel in your house. Okay. So. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to go walk around with 5 to 10 foot barrier um, of granulars in the area, in the, in the yard. Now what these granulars are, going to be like little sand pellets that we're going to go all around the area. Now these sand pellets are going to be water sensitive. So whenever water, water, activated. water activated water sensitive. <laughs> so, uh, so water activated. So the more it rains, the more protected you're going to be. So they're going to seep into the ground and they're going to be able to protect your home even more so at a farther distance from those ants and bus. This is weird listening. It's like, make me super excited. It brings everything back in the summer. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the inside. All right, so uh, a lot of your neighbors have noticed ants in creeping up in the, the kitchen and bathrooms. Have you had any ants in, inside yet? Not very many that Okay, great, not yet. So what we're going to do to make sure that um, you don't have any problems in the summer, <laughs> Um, in fact, the whole year, is we're going to go to the, the kitchen and the bathroom where there's a lot of moisture on the sink and everything. And what we're going to do is we're going to get under the sink in that cupboard where there's that J-pipe. We're going to um, basically insert um, a dust that will uh, attach to the, the ants. And when the ants are around those areas, they'll take them back. We'll take that. It's basically poison. Um, and they'll take it back. <laughs> 
It's okay. Let's take it back. Yeah, we'll take it back. We'll take it back. Uh, <laughs> we'll back to their nest, and all the other ants will get. They'll all just be terminated. We're all just like. <laughs> but it's child friendly. It's child friendly. We'll talk about that. Keywords. There's a few keywords you can never say. Yeah. It's probably top three is points. Probably top one is points. We're just going to spray poison all over the place. It's going to be a holocaust. I got a top point. I'm going to go in there for two weeks. It's like everyone has an idea. Of what we're doing, but we're not doing it. We're the Holocaust boys of Okay, is there anything else you want to ask? I don't think so. Now. Let's see. Who did the St. George trip? Okay. All right. What main concerns did you run into in St. George for any of the new guys that are going to be going down this next weekend? For me, the biggest one was people already had some sort of pest control, okay. and it was a little bit cheaper, and so they didn't want to switch over. That or it was just the fact that it was winter, so we explained breaking up the egg cycle. Okay, mm -hmm. so Logan, what do you think one of the best things to do in regards to people having another company based off of what we just learned? What do you think? Okay, there are things we do that no other pest control company do. One of the biggest ones is the dewebbing. Now, a lot of times say, I already have pest control, I already have this, you know? Okay, sweet, yeah, a bunch of your neighbors have this, have, uh, are using pest control right now as well. Who are you using? I don't know who, who are some companies you run into? There are a bunch of different names. Say Baird. Baird? Okay. Baird. Baird. So Baird, you never want to be the guy who just rips apart their service. Like, okay, Baird does a good service. Are they, they're probably doing a, they're spraying it on the outside. Are they, are they getting the inside for you as well? Yeah, definitely are. Okay, perfect. Um, so what a few of your neighbors who have switched over really liked about our service is the dewebbing we do. So you see these nasty spider webs you guys get up here? Yeah? Okay. Like get them with your pan, whatever you gotta do, wrap them down. Okay, now we don't leave those there. Every single time we come out, my tech has a long 15 to 20 foot pole with a brush on the end. Uh, he's gonna put a little dust on that thing. And he, we're actually gonna scrub down all of these eaves around your house, okay? How about your garage, back in the backyard as well. Make sure these don't come back, okay? And while we leave that dust, it's gonna take care of the pheromone that those little wasps leave on your house. Um, the reason they come back year after year, they leave that little sticky smell good, tells all the friends that it's a good place to come, wipe that out, you're not going to see any more of those. Okay? Uh, like I said, right now I can get done super, super cheap for you. So, I was going to say, a big thing I really like about what Logan did is you notice how he went in detail on just one piece of the service. A lot of you guys, like Logan said, are going to go out there and be like, yeah man, this is what we do, we do a base spray, then we do a deep webbing. And then we, we actually go inside too and do some interior treatment. So you guys want to buy? That's like the worst pitch out there. And you guys will say that every once in a while, honestly. Like especially your first couple of doors, you probably will say so that. Do you want it? So, do you want it? Like, something like that. You got to get in. That's why you need to be practicing in the mirror. You got to get in the groove of going in detail on one piece of the service. And then what did Tyler talk about last time? Brandon, what did Tyler talk about last time? The pitch. Sales cycle. Sales cycle. Okay. <laughs> so take them all the way through that sales cycle, which is what? What's the first thing we do? Create the need. Create the need. Meet the need. need. Close. Close. Resolve concerns. concerns. Meet the need. Oh, oh, it's like create oh. the need. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So you keep going around this, you go into detail when you create that need, and then you meet that need in the detail. In that detail, then you close. But then once you do it again, you do a different piece of the service. There are so many pieces of ammo that you have, whether it's the 10 different types of bugs that are in the area, whether it's the four scopes of the service, whether it's the company and our record being Terminex or being Insight. Like Insight, man, we, we're a smaller company right now. We're just starting up. And so what a lot of the customers like is that we do the best service out there. Terminex. Listen, I'm with Terminex. I mean, we've been around for forever. You guys know who we are. This is what we're going to do for you. And so you have like legitimacy versus kind of like mom pa type feel. I know everyone loves mom pa type, but you got to hit that emotional button in everybody to take care of that. It's funny with Terminex, you can be like, who are you using? Oh, yeah, I, I think I've heard of them. Uh, so we're Terminex. I mean, we're, I mean, we're the biggest in the world, right? You know, we're going to take good care of you and then go into what you can do. You have this massive name, this massive name you can drop on people. That means a lot. If, still, if you still need to make them feel like all good, that they're like helping mom and pa, 
then you find a way to bring it up, like, yeah, this is how I pay for school. <laughs> and they love that. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, did you have one other thing that you were going to say about something that you ran into a lot of at the time? Mm, no. I don't think so. Anybody else that did St. George ran anything there? Just another tip, if anyone else goes down there, everyone had cockroaches and earwigs. Those are two biggest things I saw. Okay, cockroaches everywhere. They were yeah. tiny, small ones. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the German roaches. <laughs> oh, that's oh, that's that was coming. coming. <laughs> yeah, those ones do need a lot of They like the big ones down there. Oh, really? <laughs> they don't get the little ones. The big ones are American cockroaches. What? Yeah, so, yeah, the the cockroaches. As you learn more about bugs, too, like earwigs, when you tell people, like, Oh, you get the earwigs? Those ones like the sponsor thing on the back? And then I sometimes tell a story. Yeah, I have a, I'm actually from Minnesota. I have a buddy that went up camping up north. And those earwigs actually, like, tell us something nasty about the bugs. Like, they actually do go, they go inside of your ear. Um, it's that, that's, that's true. That's what earwigs do. Yeah. I like, when, I, when I tell, like, horror stories of bugs, I always kind of, like, Laugh it off. I laugh it off. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure it's not going to happen to you, but just get, you know, let's let's get, let's take care of this. So I always do it to kind of lighten the mood because, like, sometimes when, like, people know what you're trying to do, you know, they're trying to, they're trying to take their money, and they don't like that sometimes. So if you, you got to, I love it. No, but, like, but, like, yeah, when you tell, like, funny stories like that, or, like, it's just, like, it's just a way to kind of lighten the mood and get them kind of, like, off the topic, but still on the subject, if that makes sense. Sorry. Any other questions, concerns? Here we go. All right, let's go hit some doors. Let's go knock. It's weird, actually, it makes me sad.